Street yet. They will mug you. They're horses. They'll have their noses and their mouths all over you. You're to get a treat. <coughs> so you teach them the face. They're going to get clipped when they turn their head away. Click. Give them a treat. They come over to mug you. Try to step away. Pass in the face. Click. And in minutes, you'll have a horse just standing quietly. Okay? Waiting for a treat. So you don't. That's how I use clicker training to stop biters. Yes. When you, you treat them over where you have them face, is that where you treat them? Mm-hmm. Okay, you don't have them turn their head back to you? No. Well, it depends on the horse, too, but generally, no. You want to go over this way. If you have an aggressive horse, okay, and if, you're, if you feel your safety, you're going to be hurt by this horse, okay? You start with a horse in a stall, and a stall door and a barrier in front of you, and you can start. This is how Mustangs have started. Once they learn about eating hay, okay, you can use them just by treating them with hay. All right, but you keep that stall in between. All right, and aggressive horses. There was a horse not too long ago. I worked with. She was fresh off the track. Man, she bit the owner I think three times in the course of ten minutes. Um, couldn't get in the stall with her. She'd aggress you with mouth wide open, the teeth, the ears, the whole nine yards. Okay, um, she started working with with this horse outside the stall with clicker training so she could get into the stall with the food and carry out into the paddock where she did some connective work, okay? And to now, they're best partners. They're off in the woods everywhere. So it just, you know, it's a, it's a faster progression actually than, I don't know, what do I want to say, traditional training, um, using punishment, of course. We don't necessarily want the horse to be afraid when we're working with them, they're animals of flight or fight. What's going to happen if they're afraid? Just like us. If they're feeling defensive, they can't think, can they? You can't think and they want to run away. So you don't have their full focal. Okay? You don't have their full focus. So teaching them with the clicker also gets them to get their full focus, as I said before. Um, groundwork or under saddle, same thing. And you phase, you'll eventually phase the clicker out, so you're not going to take this quick thing going, oh! Good boy, good boy, he's going around the, the show ring. It doesn't work that way. Um, you're going to play a little game first, and it'll be a short game. I need two volunteers. Come on down here. One more. Okay, come on. Now, Sue. To let you know what I'm, we're going to do a little shaping exercise, which is how you can first start using nothing but positive reinforcement. Okay, um, you can't hear this, so you guys need to block your ears. Oh, 
the task, does it? Hmm. Oh, no, it doesn't. All right, sorry about that. All right, continue on. Mark this. <laughs> Now, with horses, too, doesn't, I mean, you can wait a few seconds to get the treat. The importance is in the process of, in the process of the behavior right in the middle of it, you're cooking. You're so you <laughs> Someone's learning. <laughs> so, I'm going to use horses with your old. <laughs> Just use the clip. <laughs> See, now she shows this to me, yeah. okay, and I just backed up with an ignore. I've got to figure it out. Did you get the ball? Yeah. Thanks. No, no, I got the elbow. I don't think anyone's going to walk. You know what, Mike? I'm not paying attention, and I quit. Do you know what you're doing? Sorry, I'm classically conditioned. 